Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, let us discuss a problem that appeared in lead code weekly, uh, bi-weekly contest 77. So count uh, unguarded cells in a grid. So basically we are given uh, two arrays, guards of I and uh, walls of J. So, I mean, guards and walls. So guards of I represents that in this particular cell, there is a guard that is row I column I that cell there is a guard and similarly walls of j is uh, uh, the cell row of j column of j which represents a wall now a guard can see every cell in four cardinal directions so up right left down starting from position unless and until there is a wall which obstructs the guard's view and a cell is called guarded if at least one guard can see it so we can easily understand with this picture, see this cell is denoting, uh, is denoted by G. That means a guard is over here. So guard can see in all the four directions. So left side and up, there is nothing. Only right and down for this particular guard, it is there. So you can see down, since there is no wall, all these cells can be seen. So all these cells can be seen, which means all these cells are guarded. But if you see right side, immediately we get a wall. So that is why this cell, which is in green color, cannot be seen by this guard. So that's what the problem is saying. And we are supposed to find the number of cells which are not guarded. So how many number of cells, like total number of cells are there? M into N, because it's a M into N grid. M is rows, N is columns. Okay. So actually this is a very brute force kind of a problem. So what I did was, uh, see, I just uh, took this guards array only. So for each and every cell in this guard array, I will check up, right, left, down, something like a DFS, but I would say it's more like a brute force, okay? So for each guard cell, let me call it guard cell. So whichever cell is, uh, whichever in whichever cell a guard is there, I'll call it guard cell. So I'll take each and every guard cell and check left side, right side, up and down. And I'll keep going left or I'll keep going right, keep going up or keep going down until I get a wall or get another guard. So why another guard? Because I'll do the same operation with that guard. So I don't want to bump into another guard. I don't want to bump into another wall also. So what I'm trying to say is, so if I have a guard here, okay. So I will check right side. I'll keep going right until I get a wall or I get a guard or it goes outside the matrix only. So this is one direction, right? Same thing left, same thing up, same thing down. I'll keep doing. And I'll count how many cells are guarded. So now I'm counting guarded, but we have to not return guarded. We have to return unguarded, not guarded cells. So I'll tell you how to return that. So first of all, I'm calculating how many cells are guarded. Now, one thing is to be kept in mind, we may calculate duplicate cells. So, you know, we may calculate one cell as guarded more than one time. Like for example, uh, in this case only, See, you can see where my cursor is, right? So G in the starting cell, just have a look at my cursor. Okay, so for this particular guard, all these cells are guarded, correct? Now for this second G, which is at one comma one. So you see second guard is at one comma one. So for this guard, these down cells, the cells that are, down of this guard are all guarded fine but this cell you know you can see this intersection right this arrow is there and this arrow is there so this cell is guarded by both these guards but we should count that as only one cell we should not uh, duplicate that so when we are finding how many cells are guarded we should keep in mind no duplicates so how to avoid duplicates simple we'll keep a visited array what is this visited array? It's a Boolean matrix, which tells whether we have visited that cell or not. If we have visited that cell, 
then we will not mark it as guarded because it was already guarded if it is not visited then we will say guarded so i don't know i was doing brute force dfs also works here fine so i'll just show i think the code only is better so you can easily find out see what i've done uh yeah so what i've done is i've taken a boolean matrix visited initially none of the cells are visited so false fine i am taking set why i am taking set over here see problem will happen when you want to find out whether the given cell a particular cell so for example if any cell okay if you are at if you are currently at any cell i comma j you want to find out whether if it's a wall or if it's a guard or if it is outside the matrix so all those things so outside the matrix is fine but mainly you want to find out if you have not bumped into a wall because in, when you bump into a wall you immediately break why you immediately break because you can't see anything after the wall so how, how do we find out that the current cell is a is a wall or a guard so for that i'm using set pair so i think this is log in time okay so unordered set i don't know it doesn't work here but if you in in your language if you have another way of hashing so i mean there will be another hashing technique which can be much simpler but i just use set over here so set over i'm um, just making the pair what pair the coordinates i comma j so i'm doing for wall as well as guard why i am doing for guard i don't want to bump into another guard because if when i bump into another guard then i can stop uh, recording i mean i can stop finding the guarded cells which are guarded under a particular guard like uh, what i'm trying to say is imagine that there is a guard here okay and there is another guard here and in between there are some number of cells so i'll find all, i'll traverse all these cells and i'll reach this guard so i'm starting here and i'll reach this guard over here so when i reach this now i don't want to go further because anyway i would go so it is like this this is my approach i mean there's nothing wrong if you go further also like my approach is whenever you find a guard break out because that guard will do his job so for this guard he does not have to bother about all the other cells which are after the second guard that's my logic but it's okay you can continue going further so that's what i have done so that's uh, i have put it in the set here so i've taken two sets fine then same thing like dfs only checking left right up down okay so that is until l is valid so until we are inside the matrix so this is see l r u d is left right up down so i will go left right up down from where from which starting point from the guard cells so starting point can be the guard cell so this array is there na this array guards it is denoting the coordinates in which the guard is there so what is the time complexity if you see your guard length is 10 power 4 only okay guard length is 10 power 4 and uh, over here worst case can be what you only assume you you try to tell me what is the worst case complexity see m into n is 10 power 5 so even if it is m into n then also this will pass the solution will pass but i I don't think it will be m into n. I'm not exactly sure, or maybe it is m into n because DFS will be n square. So worst case, I think is going to be n square only. But here n square is less than ten power five, so it it is fine. Okay, so that's what I'm checking over here. If the current cell is not a wall and it is not a guard, so that is what this if condition is doing. if the current cell is not a wall and not a guard then i am also checking if it is visited already or not because i want to avoid see this duplicate condition you can see these arrows intersecting right which means this cell is guarded by both these fellows 
but I have to consider that one cell only once. So that is why I'm giving visited array. Now, whatever I'm doing for left, same thing, copy paste and do it for right, up, down, and make those modifications in this set over here. That's all. But ultimately, we should not return what is guarded. We should return unguarded. So unguarded is total number of cells minus how many of our guard cells are there? How many of our wall cells are there? How many of our are guarded? You can take this example and verify this sentence. Take this figure, pause the video, take this figure and verify this sentence. So I don't know, I just did this and I've just made a video. I think there's a better approach for this. So actually it is running very uh, heavy. I mean, time complexity can be reduced. I think there may be a better solution than this. So just tell me in the comment section if there is a better solution, but I don't know. I just did the brute force way. Maybe we can break out somewhere here only instead of not visiting all the cells. So tell me in the comment section if there is a better solution you feel. And uh, that's all. This problem was simple. Thanks for watching. Please share the video to all your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I have a surprise for you all in the next videos. So until the next video, take care, stay safe, keep learning, keep growing, stay tuned. Bye.